Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss what is port channel and how port channel is going to help us to optimize the network and how port channel works, how we create port channel and how we are going to troubleshoot in case port channel is not coming up. Okay. Before we starting with port channel, I would like your attention on this particular topology where we have interconnected switch one and switch two using four links. And we notice that three or uh, we can say redundant links are in blocking a state to avoid the loop correct and this will be taken care by stp automatically as stp is by default enabled for all the vlans and all physical port so to avoid loop stp will put a redundant link in blocking state correct which is good but in this particular solution what's happening is we will not be able to utilize all available link correct so we were looking for a solution which can provide us uh, some sort of mechanism so we can utilize all available link correct all available physical link right so we came up with port channel which is also known as ether channel and other vendors call as link aggregation uh, most of the time I am going to use a port channel. Okay, so let's start. What is port channel? So basically port channel is a mechanism to combine multiple physical link into single logical interface Correct between two switches. So switch. Let's say switch one switch two. Okay What we achieved uh, by port channel basically before port channel what was happening is three ports were in blocking state after port channel we notice that all physical ports are in forwarding state which means we are increasing the bandwidth correct and how we are doing that because now stp is not running on physical ports instead stp is running on logical or port channel interface right Apart from increasing, like increasing bandwidth is one of the benefit of creating port channel. But apart from that, port channel gives us built in redundancy. What does it mean? Means in case one link fails, traffic will be forwarded by the other links. Okay. And one thing, in case if physical link fail, STP is not going to reconverse because as I said before, now stp is not running on physical port it is uh, running on port channel so if physical port goes down it, it will not trigger like uh, uh, stp conversions and port channel we can configure as a layer 2 as well as layer 3 okay there are two ways to create a port channel for example i want to create a port channel between switch 1 and switch 2 so i have two ways to configure it one way is manual. Manual means uh, we are going to use own mode and we are not going to negotiate with a remote end and we are not going to check whether remote is remote end is compatible with me or not. And here one thing is, for example, I have configured port channel using own way on switch one. Port channel will come up unconditionally, even though whether it will not check whether it is configured on switch two or not port channel will be up which is not good right so we have other way using dynamic uh, uh, dynamic uh, way to create a port channel basically in dynamic way we whenever we use uh, we configure port channel we are going to negotiate with the remote end I mean switch one is going to negotiate with switch two and those particular port and will make sure the remote end port is compatible with uh, local port, right? And to do or to configure port channel using dynamic way, we have two choices. We have LACP as a choice, which is open standard protocol, and uh, we have PAGP, which is Cisco proprietary. Most, uh, most of the time, we are going to deal with LACP, okay? So, and dynamic way of creation port channel is recommended because we can avoid misconfiguration miswiring everything can be avoided in dynamic but in manual way we have to make sure 
we have we don't have misconfiguration we have interconnected the devices correctly so we have to make sure the things in uh, in manual way in dynamic uh, dynamic way protocol is going to do uh, do this for us okay means if there is an inconsistency or incompatibility protocol is going to check and if if form inconsistency or incompatibility that particular port will not come in uh, in port channel okay in PAGP, we have two modes, desirable and auto. In LSCP, we have active and passive. So basically, desirable and active uh, works in same way. In case, like basically, when we use desirable or active, interface is going to start negotiate negotiation with remote end. Means it will send LSCP PDUs uh, to negotiate with partner. Okay. Uh, LACP, if you are using PAGP, then obviously it is going to send PAGP packets, correct? If we are using auto or passive, means that particular interface will wait for switch to to start negotiate negotiation for port channel. But this particular interface, if it is uh, auto or passive, it is not going to start negotiation with this particular interface. It will wait for remote end to start negotiation. Make sense? Okay, so uh, this is the weird topology. <laughs> okay, uh, basically to understand things better, uh, I came up uh, with this particular topology. And uh, here we have done some misconfiguration and miswiring as well. But by using this particular diagram, what we are going to do is uh, like, we can understand one thing how switch one is going to the switch one is going to recognize whether it is connected to same switch whether it is connected to different switch how uh, it is going to identify there is a misconfiguration at remote end so if you are using a static way then you don't have any mechanism but let's assume i am using lsap here as well as lsap here in that case switch one can identify basically whenever we use lsap means switch one is going to send lsap pdus and going to receive same uh, like uh, lsap pdus from switch two as well as from switch three when switch three send uh, lsap pdus it has uh, like own system id when switch two send it has a different or a unique system id so switch one will come to know okay i am receiving lsap pdus from two different uh, system ID or two different switches. In that way, it can identify the miswiring. But you may have the question like switch one is connected uh, with switch two where we have misconfiguration. One port is configured in port channel one, another port is configured in port channel two. So how switch one is going to recognize this? So along with system ID, LACP PDUs contain admin key which is auto generated and which is unique to the port channel. Okay. And in few platform, you can define admin key. Okay. But not in all. Okay. So here switch one will receive admin two different admin key on two by one and two by two and switch one will come to know. Okay. In LACP PDOs, I'm receiving different admin key. Therefore I should not form the port channel. Uh, with both of them okay there will be one port only uh, it depends from where we have received uh, uh, LACP videos first same way to understand things better I have used switch one switch two and we have interconnected how system ID what is key same way it's a uh, number okay now we are going to understand like uh, what we can do in case port channel is not coming up and how we are going to configure port channel and i am using switch one let's assume we don't have control on switch two okay let me start with the devices okay i have access to the switch one now and uh, let's assume we want to configure port channel whenever you are going to configure port channel let's make sure what port channel number you are going to use 
and make sure whether it is currently in use or not. So we are going to create port channel one, which is not in use. First thing we have to verify, okay? So interface ethernet one by one, and we have to give channel group one mode, okay? We always uh, recommend to use active. So I'm using active mode, okay? And then let's assume I want to use it as a L2 port channel. So we'll give switch port and we can give switch port mode mode trunk and port channel is ready and we can verify using show port channel command right so show port channel summary in uh, in other platform it uh, it can be show with a channel summary as well right uh, i'm here i am using nexus platform therefore i am using show port channel summary command okay and here we notice that that particular i have assigned ethernet one by one in port channel one and notice that that particular port is in suspended state what that mean is means that particular port is not came in port channel one yet why so to understand that we have to focus on lacp videos because we are using protocol as a lacp so first thing we have to confirm whether we are receiving LACP PDUs from remote end or not. If we are not receiving LACP PDUs from remote end, then port channel is not going to come up. And here we don't have access to the remote device. And remote device owner is saying that everything is fine at their end. So we have to prove that using show LACP uh, interface and uh, you can give your interface as a shortcut you can use this particular pdus slash network okay so on ethernet one by one i am sending lscp pdus but i am not receiving lscp pdus from the remote end means port channel is not going to be up until like we are going to receive the bpdus right so one way is this if you have verified everything and configuration is fine cabling is fine everything is fine in that case what you and it's still uh, port is not uh, coming up in that case what you can do is remove that particular port from the port channel and check whether port is coming up or not okay if it is coming up let's make it as a layer 3 port and give one IP address, ask remote device owner to do the same and do ping test. In this way, we can verify, okay, that particular port is up and layer one is fine, layer two, one is, uh, layer two is fine, layer three is fine. And then uh, bring back in the port channel and see the status. If you go with this approach, 99.99% you will be able to resolve uh, issue in case port channel is not coming up apart from this you have to notice that we have two port channels both are down both are l2 s means uh, l2 here switched interface if you find r means it's a l3 inter, uh, l3 port channel okay so here you notice that one port is individual one port is suspended why this can happen so basically I means port is working as an individual port. Okay. S means suspended. What does uh, when individual port come in picture? It's configuration dependent or default configuration. So basically, like if you have configured LSCP suspend individual command under port channel, in that case, if you are not receiving LSCP PDUs from remote end, port uh, port will come up as an individual port okay and we can see here we have configured lacp suspended individual and another command will uh, we are going to discuss lacp minimum link okay so this means that particular port will be up okay we can verify this using this apart from that if port is working as an individual port in that case spanning tree also run on that particular port and we can verify this okay that particular port is up and spanning tree is running on that particular port make sense 
okay so coming back to the slide as as i said like we other thing we can verify cpu utilization co-op drops because sometimes if maybe we are receiving lscp pdus but due to high cpu utilization switch one is not uh, able to process that or maybe co-op drop uh, due to that that lscp packets or pdus are being dropped at switch two so these things we can verify or we can use as part of troubleshooting okay so the same output where we can see like okay show lscp counter how many uh, pdus we are sending how many we are receiving LS, whether we are receiving lscp pdus or not whether counter is getting increased or not you can clear the counter and can see uh, again using clear lscp clear counter lscp okay now as i said we can use the few command like lscp minimum link lscp minimum uh, links is so by default if one port is up in port channel then port channel will come up but if you have configured lscp minimum link two in that case port channel will come up when two ports are up in that particular port channel okay lscp rate basically to decide how frequently you are going to send lscp lscp pdus in fast we are going to send in every one second in normal basically we are going to or we also call it slow means in every three, 30 second we are going to send lscp pdus okay the last thing which i would like to discuss in this session is whether port channel increase throughput uh, or not so uh, how we are going to do this so here let's assume i have interconnected link one two three four and bundled in port channel one so my uh, total available bandwidth is 40 gig but does it applicable for all flow no for single flow it is it will be always 10 gig because let's assume i am sending traffic from switch a to uh, sorry host a to host c as soon as that traffic reaches to switch it is going to perform local hash and going to choose one of the link out of four and traffic will always forward fr from that particular link right so maximum throughput for that particular flow will be always 10 gig but let's assume that another flow is choosing another link and we have four flow which is uh, for example i'm i have four uh, flow and they all four are using different different link in that case aggregate of all flows can consume the aggregate a bandwidth of port channel does it make sense thank you thank you for your time have a nice day